sends uh, sends me stuff through, you know, through into the lot, articles and stuff like that. When I'm, when I'm sitting in Africa, it's, it's helpful because he gives me basically he's he's out of the lens, so he gives a perspective, you know, culturally and and sometimes politically uh, uh, of things that's happening in the states from his point of view. He, and, I, and I get another point of view from 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 South Africa, where I live. Uh, right now, I'm in the Midwest of the uh, United States and North America. Uh, normally, I would drink something and tell you what I'm drinking. Sometimes I don't. But they were this is a bottle of wine. It's called, I just got it here in the States, called, uh, uh, this one is called a Basher or something like that. The, the Banisher? Yeah, the Banisher. Uh, from a brand called 19 Criminals. Anyway, I'm not advertising them. But I'm, I'm thinking this, uh, one of the things I came across uh, past me was uh, something that Nelson said. Um, I just read the headline. It said um, one of the candidates, one of the 19 candidates on how left the Democratic Party, one of the 19 criminals, or whatever you want to call them, um, has an idea. He's going to address the black situation in the United States of North America. And uh, well, his name is uh, Buttigieg. Uh, Pete Buttigieg, they call him Mayor Pete from the Midwest. I'm in the Midwest right now. And I can tell you, if you were born and raised in the Midwest, you do not have a perspective on um, a black, an African American, and an American descendant of chattel slavery, a North American descendant of chattel slavery, uh, perspective on how to liberate yourself or their selves. You don't have that. It's just, it's just, you just don't have it. Because remember, my lineage has been here before America before the United States of North America, this wilderness of the United States of North America uh, came about. We, we, we tamed this wilderness. We built from this wilderness to what you see today, to what a lot of these people come through. I mean, this is like, a, I mean, this, this person, this, this uh, candidate, did he speak to Professor Sandy Darren who's been working on this area for, for years? Did he speak to our current people that we get our marching orders from? We're talking about Yvette Cornell and Tony Moore. Did he speak to them? I didn't dare. If they did, they, did, they hadn't told me. And when I say told me, I'm listening to them all the time. I take my marching orders from them. Uh, this is, you know, they've been, they've been, uh, and he named this thing something like the Douglas Plan or something like that after our icon, Frederick Douglas. I mean, this assault on our icons and our culture has been going on for so much, so long, it's, it gets very tiring. The latest thing is what they're doing something on Fred Hampton. Some some person that's not that, that has no lineage in in, in 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 the United States of North America that they're going to do a film. They are going to the the the, night, the criminals are going to do a a, a a film on Fred Hampton. That's that's ten about, I live in South Africa. That's ten about to, to to somebody doing a a film on Chris Honey. Chris Honey uh, was a liberator who uh, who 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 was a trooper. He 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 was with, he could communicate with the troops as well as politicians as well as the the rest of the world. So look, let me just try to cut to the chase in this. Uh, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Who, no, 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 go. Who, no, 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 go. It's from uh, Fela Kuti from uh, Nigeria, a Nigerian musician. He, 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 his, his family uh, comes from his mother, you know, was a liberator in Nigeria. He's liberated. His son is a liberator, uh, as far as mentally. So if you're not in that tradition, in our tradition of liberation, how can you speak for our liberation uh, to even address our liberation. I don't, I do get it. But no, I know I'm speaking the obvious. There's going to be a lot of people going to jump on this. A lot of people going to jump on this. Really. Let's think about this. Us being you and me. T. From the past, is taking the trenches a bit. Let me know. I only suspect from, from here, from a desk of the A D O S. What we be the American descendants of chattel slavery? That lineage. If you're not in that lineage, 